Hey guys, it's Corrales and welcome back everybody to How to Build a Simple House, Episode 2. First of all, thank you so much for the support in Episode 1. You guys are absolutely fantastic. You seem to enjoy it, I enjoy it. When everybody enjoys it, it just makes this whole thing kind of enjoyable, I guess. I don't know. But for those who watched the first episode, this is something you should be having. If you didn't watch it, go watch it, build it, and then come back. No, I'm just kidding. You can watch this anywho, so I don't care. So, we kind of left off here, and I'm sinking. Mayday, mayday, we are sinking. How else is a German cascade? What are you thinking about? What we should do now, before we start putting a roof, let's make the kind of like the upstairs layout. Because I think it's going to be much easier to see. So, as you can see here, we did place an extra wool block here on the staircase above the floor level at this point. So, what we're going to do, we're going to grab it, we're going to rise it up even further. Let's do three blocks in total going from the snow layer which we placed, all right? And let's do the same here on this side and the same on this side. So that is three layers in total from above. You should be having, <laughs> well, you don't really see because of the shade as well, but it's three blocks in total, all right? Then one block away here, place another one, which is three blocks in total in height and take it all the way out here, just one block away from the main wall, all right? And do the same, three blocks in height, all right? Do the same here, three blocks in height like this and this is gonna be going on this side as well so three blocks in height in total this is gonna be so much easier so now from above you should be having this shape going the next thing we want to do is just jump down here and one block away from this wall we're gonna place another wall so one two and three blocks in height in total for now okay then take it out by one two three and four so leave a gap just opposite this little pillar in the staircase Continue on this side. One and two. Three blocks in height just for now. And what this is going to give us a little cool little landing here as soon as we reach the upstairs. So jump into the staircase here. Pick a dark oak wood stair and place them upside down by one, two, three. Just in between this wall and this staircase pillar. Okay. Then using full blocks of dark oak or slabs as I'm doing here place a little landing going just in between the wall we just placed so from above you should be having this shape and then no and then just in between this wall and the staircase wall find the middle which should be about here that gives us three blocks on this side and three blocks on that side place a dividing wall one two and three blocks in height for the moment being what goes for flooring i'm gonna be using dark oak slabs you can use whatever you prefer so three on this side and free on that side from above it looks like this and what this is gonna be it's gonna be a little closet for the bedroom so this one goes for this this one goes for that and now we know it's gonna be a bedroom here it's gonna be a bedroom here in between here we're gonna have a little family bathroom so what we could do now is take this wall by one two and three and four one block away from that wall for now and then just rise it up by three blocks in total just for the moment we do the same on this side so that wall here is coming in a straight shape, okay? Then, here, leave a two block gap in between this wall and this wall. Two block gap, all right? And take this out by one, two, and three, and then just turn it and go all the way here to the end. And this, for the moment being, is just gonna be two blocks in height. Do the same on this side. So, two block gap, take it in by three blocks, and turn it like that so from above you should be having something looking like this if you can see you know what those walls here are gonna be three blocks in height in total using white wool so three blocks in height on that side and three blocks in height on this side what calls for a flooring in the bathroom gonna be using chisel coarse blocks five by four and then just fill it in like this and here in the staircase, just in this gap, add some iron bars, just for safety reasons. We don't want to fall down and die, now do we? And what comes for the bedrooms, this is in the eye of the beholder. What material would we choose? We can choose the, the dark oak, just continue that shape. But I'm just going to be using wool, because that's going to be going to give us a lot of cool, cozy carpet feeling in the bedrooms. And just fill in the gap here 
one block away from the main wall still, like this, on this side, and let's do the same on this side. So just in the gap here we got going, and all the way here, one block away from the main wall. Just follow the shape, and then just fill it in with a smile on your faces, I guess. So now, what we have is a shape going something like this. So now we have the interior room layout figured out, all right? And let's continue the roof. So we're gonna grab core stairs and do a similar shape as we have on the front here on the back. So let's go here and place it here on the top border and take it out by one block away from the wall and in total one, two, three, four, and five and end it in the same line as that wall here and one block away from the window downstairs. Let's do the same on this side. So, one block away from the wall and in total one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. In the same line as this wall and the same line as the window downstairs. And now comes the fun part. Meeting this up in the middle and this is so much fun. And also, tons of you guys are like, he sounds so sad in his videos now. And I'm like, I don't sound sad. I'm trying to be professional. And it's super hard <laughs> coming from a derp like me. So I ain't sad, everybody. I ain't sad, trust me. But we are gonna succeed. Meeting in the middle here, some abouts. And it's going closer. Bam, 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 bam. In the middle here, in between those, upside down course there. And on top of that, just a course slab. Bam! So now we know how the roof is gonna be going. So let's do the same shape, shape, shape on this side. And bam! So now we have this shape. Now grab your stone brick stairs and continue here on this edge. Take this all the way, turn it here and connect it to the front. Do the same on this layer. So it's basically just following the shape here on, on the outer perimeter of the roof. End. So turn it like zit. Perfect. And one more. This is going to be the final one, which we do with the turn one. Next ones are going to be going straight. Connect it up like this. Perfecto al mundo. Do the same on this side. So just follow this exterior shape. One block away here from the, from the main chimney, which we're going to be placing as well. Turn it and go all, all the way. I'm just kidding. All the way back here to the to the end. And one more time. Bam, bam, turn it. Go into this. And on the top here, place stone brick slabs all the way here to the end. The final part here is gonna be placing those all the way up here like zit and on the top we're gonna finalize this using the stone brick slabs like that so i'm gonna have fun and bam so now we have something looking like this from the front and if it's not, you have failed, young Padawans. Next step is grab stone brick stairs and place a row of them just next to the core stairs we got going here on the outside perimeter of the roof. And do the same. There we go. On both sides, because what we're going to do now is kind of fill in the side walls on the upper floor. And I think this is going to make it tons easier for us. And also, if you're doing this in a survival scenario, what I would do, I would go in here and place a few, I don't know, torches, lanterns, because otherwise bad stuff will happen in here. And we don't want any bad mojo happening in here now, do we? So just place some random lights in here and then you are safe. Also, do the same on this side, like one here and one here, just for the moment being. And grab pillar course blocks and place a line going alongside the wall here and that should kind of make the outside elevation being the same elevation 
as the interior elevation because now we have this elevation all over the place because this is elevation perfecto el mundo no i'm just kidding so that is the first thing and now we need to have a window upstairs as well right so go with those sideways pillar course blocks into the middle like this so you can see there is the middle let's do the same from this side there is the middle you know what it might be easier for you guys to see if i do it on this side because this has got the light so a line going all the way to across like this and then just take it in so we kind of meet up with the middle so one more like this and do the same all the way up here so now we have one two three blocks four blocks and on the fifth one it kind of closes off so this window dish uh, dish of window should be four blocks in height all right so let's just leave it be at this moment like this and bam so this is how it looks then grab course stairs one upside down one normally placed in between there light gray stained window pieces and on the sides this is no curtains i know people are like why do you place curtains on the outside of the house this is gonna be like window shutters and i think it gives a cool contrast against the white quartz so i think this looks pretty beautiful <laughs> and let's do the same on this side bam and bam something looking like this so if you just go inside here now as you can see the window comes in a perfect elevation for us to look out it is just beautiful so now the side wall is looking something like this this next part might be a little bit tricky so pay attention this wall here which goes out by three blocks in total and two blocks in height counting from the floor elevation in the bedroom take it up so it's four in height counting from the floor elevation in the bedroom as you can see one two three and four on the last block here take it out by one above that make this shape so it's three four and three looking like this like to the same on this side so four blocks in height counting from this one two three and four last block here take it out by one one two and three so you should be having this shape don't worry i'm here i'm just paused a little bit so you guys can catch up perfect you got the shape now the next thing we're gonna do is kind of like it, make it a little bit easier for ourselves so here one block kind of away from this wall rise it up one two three four and five in total all right just using it as a support pillar do the same on this side so one block away from this wall one two three four and five now in between this space we're gonna have windows but i'm just gonna place those pillar course blocks sideways all the way up and then we're gonna carve out the windows in a later stage because i think this is gonna be just much easier for us and bam now those here can be removed and both sides of course so now you should be having something looking like this and it's roofing time everybody so grab your stone brick stairs and place them basically the same shape as the outside perimeter all the way up to the top although we're gonna do a little bit different here on the top so just wait for it and also if you do this correctly you should be having one two three four and five stone brick stairs and ending here with a course if you didn't well that kind of sucks monkey balls but hopefully it's gonna look beautiful anywho here on the top leave that out okay so we have this following the shape here alongside the wall but not here it is a goner so let's do the same on this side this one will only have three stone brick stairs and a fourth one which is quartz so all the way to the top but leave this one out it's a goner so from above it should be looking something like this now using quartz slabs and blocks we're gonna do a little shape so full blocks of quartz just in the gap here which we left place one and take it out by one something looking like this then using slabs on the lower part place one and two from below one and two extend it out one and two and from below one and two so you can see this shape kind of follows this little curvature we, which we got here take it out by two 
and don't do anything else. This shape would be going alongside this perimeter all the way to this side, all right? So let's do the same. Full blocks, of course, one and two. On the lower part, one slab, two slabs. From below, one and two. Extend it out and from below. So you should be having this shape. Let me just see, I think this is gonna be easier to see. Something looking like this. So before we cover this part with roof, let's fix the interior walls, all right? And what we're gonna do is kind of follow this shape here all the way through. So it's gonna be four, counting from the floor elevation, right? One, two, three, and four. Same goes for this one. So you can see this follows the shape all the way through. Next one is gonna be five. So five, 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 counting with Keralis, five, five, Basically, it's gonna be five where we can have it five. Otherwise, it's gonna suck. So we have five here. The top ones here is gonna be a door frame. So we can have a wool block here. We can have a pillar course going sideways like that. And then just a slab, exactly as we did on the downstairs area. Now, jumping in here, we can cover this up here with wool. Cover this all the way up here. Same goes for this one. Basically, all the way up five here and five here close that off bam close this off and bam bada beam pillar course block pillar course block a slab and a slab so let me just see if we can see is yeah we can see it from here it looks something like this now we can cover up the roof and i'm gonna be using stone brick slabs all over the place and just follow this shape which we got going all right so this is just gonna be on this elevation this one goes on this elevation and don't worry about the gap you know you can fill it if you want to fill it but it's not really something you have to do because it's not gonna be shown from the inside anyways because we're gonna purify it later on as you can see it just follows this little shape here so now we're just gonna follow this one all the way across here because we can I guess oops like this and this one follows that shape all the way across to the other side you know what, I'm gonna go from this side, I guess, because then I can just kinda squeeze into the house somehow. So there we go, bam, 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 and bam. But then again, I kinda wanna show you how it looks from the outside. So it looks something like this. We are kinda missing some windows here. So we're gonna fix that. Let me just jump in. First thing we're gonna do is kinda purify, oh, oh crap, that's the only spot I couldn't jump in. There we go, perfect. Hi, this away. And it's super dark on the inside. So what I was thinking, here in the bedroom, for example, let's place a lantern here and one here. The rest is just gonna be covered up with snow. And especially like if you're playing this in a survival world, uh, make sure you cover up all the parts. Otherwise, bats gonna spawn and that's just gonna be, it's gonna be bad mojo. So two lanterns here, just in the middle of the house and as well in this bedroom. So lantern, lantern, snow and snow and snow. And you know what? snow here as well just because of the bats i'm not gonna have any bats spawn here though because they are disabled but anyways now it kind of looks pupillicious from the inside right now doesn't it so we're gonna kind of fix it i'm gonna grab this uh, pillar course block and i'm gonna place it here sideways it's gonna be leading into the wardrobe or whatnot i'm gonna do the same on this side so bam and now just to purify this i'm gonna grab court stairs and i'm gonna place them upside down going all alongside this perimeter so you have one, two, three layers of quartz there, stop there. Do the same on this side. Just to kind of purify it and just make it pretty, I guess, I don't know. And bam. Also, we kind of need to do the same thing in the wardrobe. So quartz there, there. And let's do the same in the other bedroom for those who didn't catch. Alongside this wall, upside down quartz stairs going all the way up to the top. All the way up here to the middle layer. Same goes for this one. Bam, bam, and bam. And it still looks kind of poop, right? So we need windows. So we're going to carve this out, the whole thing. We're going to do the same in this bedroom. Carve this whole wall out. And let's add a little window. So upside down quartz stairs. No more placed ones. And then just those little window penises. One, boom, and bam, and boom. Same goes for this side. So, upside down court stairs, normally placed once, and in between some panes, and you're gonna be a happy camper. What goes for the bathroom? This is something, let me just go. 
times set maybe 9k there we go um, this is something which you guys were really upset about in the previous episode and it's kind of like people can see me poop so you know what I'm gonna make something like this I'm gonna remove that move this window up a little bit uh, just so nobody can see you taking your imaginary square dumps or whatnot I don't know but we're gonna do the same here up in this bathroom so let me see here we got the door here so let's just place it so it's kind of like facing the door semi facing the door I guess so when we enter the bathroom we can just gonna see the window bam and bam so now we have this shape going why did I remove that I don't know there we go but as you can see it still kind of lose a little bit poopalicious up here so what we're gonna do is grab some quartz slabs and place them here just on the upper part of the window frame one and two going out do the same one and two but just a little elevation higher and one more one and two as you can see that shape kind of meets up and now it just looks pretty place a door here and one here look at this little bedroom we get going I love it so let's do the same on this side on the upper part core slabs one two one two and then just meet up with that shape one and two uh-huh and this is gonna be the bigger bedroom so this might be the master bedroom and whatnot door door same goes for the bathroom court slabs on the upper part here going out by two blocks and then one elevation higher and bam that is a little bathroom a little family bathroom up here we also miss this here so let me just grab some court stairs and we're gonna fix it bam 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 and bam this is kind of perfect and this house is almost completed bam the only thing we were missing on the house is kind of the chimney so we're gonna fix that and then we're gonna take a little tour and you guys will have to let me know what you think about it so el chimney and we're gonna keep it simple first thing is first rise it up by one more elevation so now it's one elevation above the roof trim we got going here on this side brick stairs and then rise it up one two three four five and six and on the top i'm gonna do a little shape looking like this upside down brick stairs facing each other on top of that we could use cobblestone wall for example but in this case i think flower pots are gonna be a better choice bam that is pretty that's one pretty chimney I tell you and also because we are the cool kids on the block we're gonna place a little TV antenna just to add some detail and definition and everybody that is pretty much it the house is up and running kinda I'm I was thinking that maybe we could do one more episode with exterior work a little garden and whatnot and maybe interior furnishing so you guys will have to let me know if you want to see that in the comment section right so just spam away as much as you can and also interior tour we come in here front door a beautiful looking fireplace this is kind of like a little dining area and whatnot got the kitchen here with a little outdoor exit on this side of the house and here is a main living room looking like this this house is kind of spacious I tell you here we got a little guest bathroom bedroom or downstairs office and whatnot upstairs we have a bedroom here which is absolutely pretty with a little wardrobe in here we got the family bathroom here and then we have kind of like the master bedroom on this side with this little wardrobe as well uh -oh. there we go so you guys will have to let me know what you think about this and Beatles fan I think this house is absolutely amazing so thank you so much Hopefully you guys found the let's build or how to build video as easy as possible. So hopefully everybody's building these type of houses now. And if you have built this house, get on my Twitter and post a picture of it, all right? It's gonna make me very happy. But you guys will have to let me know if you wanna see one more episode, right? And I love this house. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you did enjoy this and found this helpful, hit the like button, it means the world to me. Stay awesome, everybody. I'm Corrales. And I'm leaving you with this one pretty looking house. Hopefully, I'm going to see you guys in episode three. Bye bye.
Brotherhood, 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 Brotherhood.